Hello, welcome to Coming to Mastery Part 4, All My Relations, Multidimensionality, and the All at Once. All My Relations is the interconnectedness of all of life. Everything is interconnected. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves, and vice versa. And this is understood in many cultures worldwide. It's cross-cultural. It's said in different ways. Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. But all my relations is how we relate to each other, how we dance with each other in life and out of life. Because all my relations is all of creation. It's a whole dance. And once you have that relationship with yourself, that awakening, and that's really what a master is, it's just awakening to your being aware of your awareness being aware of your human and your soul and so it's very simple there's no tricks well once you come into it you you actually learn that it's quite magical and a very wonderful way to live and it's real magic's real we live in a world where it has been denied for so long for reasons being we don't need to mention that here we understand that understood so all my relations and the relationship I have with myself I'm gonna have with the other because the master knows that there the other is an illusion there is that sovereign being that consciousness but that other, that the human considered other, is an illusion. In the world where we're going, this new world that we're swiftly going into, has a fundamental understanding of all my relations. Everybody alive right now will be dead someday. Everybody alive 100, 200 years ago. They're doing the same thing we were doing right now, living their life. They're dead. Those are our relatives. And you can bring it to your biological family, that's fine. It's all, it's all relations. It's all of your relations. But then the relations with the self. So once the understanding of the presence is there, and that awakening, and it starts opening more and more, that relation to the self changes. That singular notion of who you thought you were is integrated into the soup of many of you. And again, we live in a world where it's crazy. Many things. We live in a very structural, th the third dimension is structural. It's limited. It's this way or that way uh, or no way at all. Uh, left or right, right or wrong and uh, it keeps you in a box and so in within that structure within that limitation you're just you I'm just Muriel here and if I say I'm other than that I'm crazy and so as you move into this mastery it's an interesting thing that happens because you don't care anymore it's not you don't care about the world you figure very much so in fact it's the very other way you become so sensitive you care so much more about everything and everybody. But what happens is, is that unhealthy, energetic relationship, relations with yourself, all your relations with all your aspects, it shifts. And all of that, all of a sudden you realize that there's many, many of you. And you don't have a problem anymore because you have this elation and you can't you can't teach this to somebody else you can't show them they're gonna wanna know how you did it they're gonna know how you got there or they're gonna wanna know how you got there they're gonna wanna know if you're sanit if you're okay because it could be your family any of your relatives and this is what a lot of people are going through right now when they're coming into mastery and they're losing uh, friends and family and they're walking away they're cutting the cords why it's because you're sovereign you knew this is your life to do it first of all 
you understand that you're eternal and you've had many lifetimes. This isn't just the first one and you'll have many more if you so choose to. Many of us are walking away and knowing this is our last lifetime. That's another video I'll be making. This is your last lifetime. What are you going to do with it? This is my last lifetime. And I'm living uh, what the, coin, the term had been coined by uh, uh, Adama St. Germain in the Crimson Circle. The Omayo life. The Omayo life is however the master chooses. <laughs> it's not dictated by some ascended master that doesn't have form or, you know, even the ones in living this alongside of you, telling you how you're going to live your life. It's amazing how you come into this. Because once you start realizing your different aspects and your multidimensionality, what was considered moods or changes or shift in perception and all that are really just getting in touch with different lifetimes or parallel lifetimes or aspects that are still working right now. It's all happening right now. It's the all at once. That's the multidimensionality. You know, being linear, being human, we just look across the street and see just a perspective of just seeing one, one way, just across the way. But from the perspective of the all at once, you're on top of a building looking down and you can see all. Do you know it all? No. You can't really know it all, but once you know and see all the potentials, uh, you can kind of have a little inkling and you know that you know and you work from there and so that's what this knowing is and you can't say it to anybody you're gonna have many people come around you from every angle and uh, ask you how you're doing are you okay what's the matter with you because you're coming out and you're and you're speaking all these things that are, it's not like you uh, it just goes on like this. Uh, they will not understand, and it is not your responsibility to have them understand. Of course, being a master at this point, you're just, you know, it's a by and by. You understand. It's a by and by. There are many people that are going to go into dormancy at this time as well, who you've probably worked alongside with, and now they're just kind of going to the white side. Now, it's not to the white side, you see, because creation is an awful big place. And so all of us can do whatever we want. The planet is a big place, so it's okay. And it's best to give space during this time, too, uh, for all of these changes to happen. Now, I talk about touch and go. I talked a little bit about it in my newsletter for March, in my Healing Now newsletter, and you check that out on my website. Uh, I talk about the touch and go. When it comes to any kind of relationship, it is a touch and go because if you spend any longer than a moment with the moment, you're in a reactionary mode. So you're, you're, you're structuring yourself. You're limiting yourself. That's the third dimensional limitation of this way or that way. And it's very uh, restricting. And it doesn't feel very free to be in that space, being where you're at at this point in consciousness and your frequency level. Uh, and so you just don't, you don't dabble there. There's no need to explain yourself. You don't need to do any of that. Uh, silence, again, is the best answer for a lot of the stuff at this time, folks, because you have a lot of friction going on with people. Um, and so you use the circumstance like I'm doing right now. I use circumstances. That's how this, all of these videos have come into being. I just use whatever is happening to me with the moment, and I work with it. So there's never any issues anymore. There's no problems anymore. There was never to begin with, and I was saying that before. I know I'm repeating myself sometimes, but uh, it's good to go back every now and then and try to connect the dots with uh, all these parts of the series so you get a little bit of better uh, bird's eye view of everything. Uh, so it's not, it's not your responsibility to have to uh, bring anybody. You can't bring anybody along. Everybody's doing their own thing. They're, everybody is doing their thing. Uh, and it's a very, very um, delicate dance and movement uh, to come into this embodied enlightenment. Now, being embodied is just that. You embody all of uh, everything. So you are all of that. 
And if you want to go and experience the world and that's what your mastership life is and your soul and your human doing this thing, you know, the awareness of yourself, uh, having your human experience, and you want to go and do that um, life and travel and, and you know, um, live your five senses out to the utmost, you do. You do whatever you want to do because that's what masters do. You don't need anybody to tell you that. Certainly not me. Those listening to this right now, you have a certain consciousness and frequency to you that you're open. You, you see me. You see me. You, you love me. It's honest. It's true. There is nothing in between. There's no friction. You just love me and you understand and trust what I'm saying right now. And there's no power and control here, folks, because there's no power and control where we're going. And most of these people, they're sitting there trying to get on you and attack you or, or come to you and, and maybe whatever they're doing, they don't understand any of that. It's okay. It's okay. You don't, there's nothing that you need to, um, it's a touch and go. It's a touch and go. Uh, the less you stay in reaction mode, the better. And again, those aspects would come in. Yeah, I got plenty of them. It will just be like, you know, fuck you. Or, you know, get out, just go away from me. I don't need to deal with you. Am I being non-compassionate or am I being not in my loving space? Oh, no. I, see, I am embodied. I embodied everything. I also want to mention, too, I have some feathers here. Um, this is an owl feather and this is a hawk feather and they both play off each other. This is multidimensionality when it's coming to the animal world. Of course, it's a pre predator-prey balancing act they're going there too. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, but the owl is the night and the hawk is the daytime and they kind of have the same habitat and they have the same territory where they do their dance. Um, and so the energies um, very much are, play off each other. So a lot of times when you have certain uh, uh, spirit guides, aspects, all that, um, they might be just that, where you have the owl and the hawk playing with each other, off of each other, and um, it's a nice little dance. The owl is just that. Who? Who is it? Who? 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 Who's talking about me? Who? Who's over there? Who's over there uh, looking over there and watching me? Guys, we have cameras all over the place. People are looking. They're paying attention. You're posting on f social media. You're saying all sorts of things. You have all sorts of ones coming, right, sitting there, right over there in the peripheral. And uh, being in the all at once, in the multidimensionality, I am fully aware of every single one of them. Does it affect me? No. No. No, because I know that I know, and this is so important. This is so important. There's no power and control here. Absolutely none. There's no need. It's complete freedom. There's no need to have to explain yourself anymore. All you know is that once you feel and you can sense it, you just move your energy where it needs to go. It's an act. This is what the master does. The master moves the energy around, uses the circumstances for his advantage. Right. So many people you'll have, they don't really want to have anything to do with you. They know that you know. So you don't have any friends. I love you guys. I have a good five handful of five people in my hands that really see me and love me. And I'm, I'm okay with that. That's the most beautiful thing ever. I don't need the masses to see any of this. In fact, it's better for all of us here, folks. So thank you. We continue on. The hawk. And the hawk is the one that sits high, touches, and speaks, and relates very much closely with great spirit and is the messenger between the humans and the spirit world. And the message with the hawk is never let the little birds bring you down. Remember to stay the heights. Remember, dear ones, stay the heights. So you have the axe here. This is the multidimensionality. Do I need a sweat lodge? Do I need to be cleansed? No, because I am the sweat lodge. I know this may get some people because they don't understand. Uh, even this is this is what's what it means to be go to go beyond the human condition. And it's no better, no worse. There's not looking down or looking up, 
It's not looking over even. It's literally moving into that I am. So the womb of Mother Earth, I am the embodiment of that. So I don't need to sit inside. Lodge, does it feel good? Yes. Do I like to sit around with my brothers and sisters and sit really close like that? Yeah. It, it feels good. And to sing songs, beautiful songs that I've learned, and the energies that are moved within that lodge is some experience that you'll never have. So I do highly recommend going to a sweat lodge. And of course, being a master, you know, you feel it out and you know the people you go and attend for that to be safe. You know, it's, you know, you know how to navigate. But I'll tell you right now, you know, those listening to this, you made it this far. You know, I, I dabbled a lot. Uh, with different spiritualities, I mean, all over the world. Buddhism was my favorite. Native American, of course, you know, uh, and, and the indigenous all over the world, every shamanic culture I've embodied. And that's why I do the shamanic thing. But I'm on the bridge. I'm a bridge. And I sit on the bridge, and I'm going to use these terms loosely, between the old earth and the new earth. And I sit on a bridge. And I bridge shamanism with enlightenment. It's never happened before. Because a lot of the shamanic cultures are sitting in a structure. There's, it's structured. It's a, it's a third dimensional structure. And even those cultures are changing. Everything on the face of the earth, there's not going to be one grain of sand left untouched during this shift of consciousness. And so everything's changing. Even the cultures that are trying to preserve their ways, bless their hearts, bless your hearts, bless your hearts for everything, for everything all of humanity has gone through. We're all indigenous. Hmm? Yes. So as you come out, and you come out, and you start speaking your, your truth, and I'm using that word loosely with the truth because there's some words these days just just happened recently with this shift that people are having problems with uh, so I'm just using some of these terms loosely uh, but when you come out and and speak what you know what's inside the eternal kingdom inside of you you're going to have people from all over that are going to get on you and whatever you do about that with your energetic boundaries uh, you do, of course, uh, being a master at this point, you understand that that's not really serving you. None of those energies are serving you anymore, and they don't feel very good. If you have people over there in the peripheral checking you out and monitoring you, and they're not saying anything until the time is right and they strike right in, um, that's when you can, that's when you know. So there's some energetic boundaries going on as soon as you... Uh, move into uh, your multidimensionality because you're going to need that. You're going to need that. Uh, and then sometimes you just, it's good to disconnect. Sometimes it's just really good to just disconnect um, for social media from like the world in general, if you need, if you can, I don't know whatever circumstance you are. Everybody has their their place. Either you're in the city, you're in the desert, the forest, wherever you are, and some people don't have that. Excuse me, those areas uh, where you have so much freedom to be with yourself. Regardless, you make it happen because masters make it happen. That's what that's what we do. We use every single moment, everything that comes our way, for our advantage. And is it selfish? You betcha. You betcha. Is it selfish good? You bet. And it's going to serve the masses and all of creation? You bet. That's what the whole thing is. this is about. So when people say, you know, you th you're a know-it-all, you think you know it all, uh, what's this master thing? Uh, you're, you're going crazy. Uh, that's another thing that's happening. Uh, you're, you're being bought and sold because there, there's so much in the world these days that can just bring you down. You can go into any kind of cult. There's cults galore all over the planet. Um, so, again, you're sovereign. It doesn't matter. It's a... 
you don't need that anymore. You don't, you never do, of course, you never did anyway. But you're breaking unhealthy uh, energetics that don't serve you. Even if it's a family member, it's very important to realize this. Um, and it's okay. It's okay. I guess I'm just here to say, you know what? I've been through it too right now, and I'm telling you right now, it's okay. It's okay to uh, come in and um, speak your truth and to remain right there in your knowing and feel your joy and your presence in this moment and own it. To own your, your mastery, to own your sovereignty because your friends, your family, your colleagues, it's just a by and by. You know, when it comes down to it, they're not coming with you when you leave this lifetime. They're not coming with you. All the world's a stage, remember. Remember. We can play. You, there's all sorts of games to play. But once you understand the game of chess, oh boy, that's nothing. You got all these people down here just trying to figure out the game of chess. And us, we mastered it. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome. And uh, this is part four. I have so much to say around all of this. I, 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 you know, again, none of this is like rehearsed. It's coming to me at the, I'm pulling it out of the quantum field. I don't have any cutting. I don't do any video uh, clipping, cutting of anything. I just do it straight on. And uh, it comes to me. I'm almost done here. Multidimensionality is so much more than being the aspects and all that. Because in the middle of the night, Muriel needs some coaching every now and then. Do you notice I say Muriel? Well, those listening to this, why is she talking in like a second person? Well, that this is the whole thing. You see, you see, we're a witness. You close your eyes right now. You close your eyes. You still see the room around you. Open them. You see the room around you. You see everything around you. Close your eyes. You still see it. That's consciousness. That's eternal. You're an eternal witness. That's it right there. That's the emotion multidimensionality. So in the middle of the night, I have a whole crew. I have a whole crew that comes in and they're so loving. It's me. Who's the crew? Me from other lives, from other different aspects that I made even in this one. Ones that I created so that, you know, um, I'm my own psychotherapist. Meryl, how'd you get it through half that stuff? What? I, I help myself. <laughs> what? It's not wrong. Oh, you, oh, you need people. That's another person telling you, other people telling you from the outside, telling you what you need for yourself. Masters don't need anybody. You don't need this. And this, this is something big for people all around you. Again, you're, you're going to be whittled down to a good five people holding in your hand when you enter this point of embodied enlightenment. Now, where we go forward, coming in the next couple of years, and we come into the 20s, Everything's going to change. The weather's changing. Not just the weather on the earth, like climatically, but the weather, like the energetic weather, our lives, how we interact with each other. That's all been changing. Just in the past couple of weeks, this whole thing of uh, not a separation, not a split per se, but this whole dance of people just true colors coming out. Uh, others going into dormancy. They're not ready yet. They, they just, those who did their work, it's showing. Uh, it's, it's starting to show. And uh, there's, again, there's no power and control in any of this, folks. Uh, you don't need to prove anything. Uh, you don't need to advertise. Again, the only reason why I do is because I'm creative and I like to show my stuff off and it, it is good stuff and people like to see it. And really, it says... I know you feel this. I, I'm not an ego whatsoever. I just, love, I just have this joy of creating, and I love to share it. And I, and then, and then people get like it's contagious. And then I notice others like Meryl. That's uh, I'm just starting to write now, or I'm starting to paint now. Or, and I'm an activator, and I sit on a bridge, and I bridge shamanism with enlightenment. <laughs> and this is my deal. I'm, I could sit on the beaches of Bali, Bali all I want and have a great grand time swimming with the dolphins. Do I do that? Yes, I do that within my mind's eye. This is how I do my work. This is how I do my uh, long distance healing. I go inside my mind's eye and I work within my consciousness and I go to whoever needs the work.
done. You see. And I can leave this body and still be and do the work and still have my body sitting there at the same time. That's the multidimensionality. That's never happened before. This is this is a huge happening. Shamans have been doing it for, you know, 100,000 if not more years. Shamanism is ancient. Uh, and it's a birthright as a human, being a human, to to be able to do, uh, to be able to be that. Multidimensionality. It's, it's our nature. It's who we are. We've been manipulated, controlled, contorted, twisted. Uh, uh, let's not talk about the drugs that are out there now, uh, that's in the water even. And I don't have any kind of, I don't think, there's so much to think about here, guys. There's a lot of it being cleansed out en anyway. But people are being affected by this. So uh, I live out and I have a private well and I live out in the middle of nowhere. So I have a nice quiet place and privacy to be able to do my work, which is great. Uh, and that's why I designed this to be just this, to be able to do this, you see. Some people have trust funds. Some people have inherited money. They set it up for themselves in a past life, future life, however, whatever time they did uh, to have that lifestyle they're living right now for their, for their particular mastery that they want to live uh, in their life. Eternity is a long time. <laughs> we have all of eternity. There's no rush. There's no time. We're out of time. <laughs> There's no more time anymore. Tomorrow never came, I say now. People say I take it day by day. There's no more days. We have gone beyond the beyond. Welcome, my friends. I have so much to say around all of this. And a video just doesn't do it justice, as you can see. But I have loaded my YouTube channel with a lot of good stuff. Um, again, the multidimensionality. I'm not just calm in one day and then, you know, I'm fierce force in another. I mean, I'm all that. So I'm extremely dynamic. Uh, those who know me, you know. Uh, I can switch the hat. Uh, have I lost my mind? Yes, and it's in a good way because I gained my heart and I gained my true being and, my, and I'm expanding beyond anything I ever thought possible. <laughs> and I love you guys for supporting me because we're doing this together. And I'm so excited about all of this and I'm excited where we're going. And you know what? It's okay if you have people leave your, your life right now because if they can't love you and see you and know you for who you are, Bless their hearts, by and by. We'll see you when, when we get there. And that's pretty much it. Again, this is part four. And uh, I might do another part after this. I'm not sure. I'm kind of just feeling it out. Uh, again, I just go with the flow and the movement of the moment. And so uh, hopefully all of the, what was said here, you'll get a little bit of gist of what's been going on with the pendulum swing. We've gone all the way over and now we're coming back and you can feel the energies shifting that. And if you're not in tune with it, uh, you will soon see here in the next month or two, um, some very visible changes happening now. So, um, with all my heart folks, I love you <laughs> and I know I know you can feel this. I know you can feel this. And this goes beyond a hug. The best hug you could ever receive. This right now, this moment you have, we have together right here. That's, this is it. This is, this is the new earth. And I'm looking over there on the other side of the bridge going, wow. I'm getting, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. There's no need to stay too long on that bridge. So just get ready, folks. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to these video series. It's very, very important that those joining in on this right now, because it's about you, and it's about you coming out. I don't just spark the creativity, the art, the writing, the music out of my peers, but also you speak your truth 
And if you need to speak it, and it's sounding like anger to others, who cares? That's their perception. You got it out. They'll go back later, in about a year or two from now, whatever, somewhere down the other now moment, and they'll re-listen. Oh, they'll look at that again. And they'll see it with completely different eyes. Because you know that you know. And there's no more questioning it anymore. There's no more questioning it. No more. No more. No more groups. No more having to join anything anymore. We, we are sovereign. We, we did our work. And we're all very much inter interconnected here. Matakio Yastin, all my relations. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. And I look forward to presenting my next video. And also, uh, if you are interested, I'll have um, replays of everything on my website. And um, I have some webinars uh, coming up too as well. The month of March is pretty much packed at this point. I'll be taking a break in April, although it's hard to plan again with anything these days because I'm in the, the all at once. So, uh, but I do see a potential of taking a, a break for a good solid month. Although I'm always working behind the scenes, I do so much. But that's there. And uh, again, visit my website. There's so much on there that I offer everybody, and I do welcome you to come on in, and uh, and give your presence. Okay. So, again, you take care. I love you so much. Thank you. Namaste.